That worked. Keep going. Rebellion. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Rebellion. Revelio. Another barricade. Accio! Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Guardian Leviosa. Accio! Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Bombarder Defender Revelio Accio Bombarder Bombarda Revelio Bombarda Defendo Accio Indalium Leviosa Accio Indalium Leviosa Accio Indalium Leviosa Revelio Something tr that works. Revelio, keep going. Another barricade. Considering how well you did Accio. on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Revelio. Accio. Accio, Indalium Leviosa. Revelio. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place.
Robota. Akio, incendio. Akio, incendio. Robota. moment there I thought that'd never end. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Accio. Rebellion. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential. I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Especially for my uncle. Is that... Ominous? Ominous! The sounds we kept hearing. It was you! You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please. Leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. Sebastian's done his research. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be in... And if nothing will... Something has... Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind... Are you willing to sacrifice? I might be. What if the choice wasn't yours? What in the world are you suggesting? That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity! I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a... Do what you have to do. Cast it. Imperio! Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. 
I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. Akio, not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. How long would the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. <laughs> To Feld, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Petrificus Totalis. Accio. Incendio. Window. Bombarder. <laughs> All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. <laughs> No, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcorp's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Oh, 
Bombarda. Accio. Incendio. Bindo. Accio. Incendio. What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to... The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. You did what you had. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot. Ba it might be best to let him calm down a while. You may be right. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Th what Sebastian did was inexcusable. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists. This family does not resort to using dark magic. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Felt. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic. Why, Sebastian? <sighs> You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue packs. What in Merlin's name yeah. are you doing in the restricted sector? What did you think you'd find there? Answers to your exams? Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle. Well? I'm afraid he wants you know. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm... He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any... Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to... I should say... Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna... It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up. She was carefully organizing her prize. She got to her favorite. It holds no inch. Be careful, Sebastian. Even if Ominous is upset with us. <laughs> I shall wait to... Thank you. I'll send you an owl when I have news. <gasps>
wonder who lives here. Hopefully, Pippin. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. That's it. Welcome back. Reporting back, Professor. Well done. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm in... Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps you arrest the momentum. That's it. Keep it up.
Take me to here I come. What a pleasant surprise. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Delivering those potions to Madame Lowen saved me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. The lot of it was brought up by a trade. Apparently, must have been someone from... Anyway, what are you here for? Me Always have trouble. Used to carry the... I can imagine that. And I... What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider Revelio. Pardon me? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Good for you, getting all those foul goblins are hiding.
did away with all those dark wizards? Oh, I can't believe it. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Good for you, getting all those foul goblins a hiding.
You did away with all those dark wizards? Oh, I can't believe it. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Good for you, getting all those foul goblins a-hiding.
such a wee bairn gain a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Did away with all those dark wizards? Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. How delightful. That's just the beginning. Had enough? Imagine. Ah. Good 
this. Not a party to attend by myself. What are you up to now? Perhaps a hybrid. I think. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation. Just yesterday, I spent. Well, if there's. Now. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Was I? Oh, yes, 
The greenhouse won't keep it so. Accio. Incendio. Lupinda. Bombarda. Capulso. Descendo. Lupendo. Crucio. Arrest the momentum. Incendio, Defendo, Bombardo, Depulso, Levioso, Rupendo, Descendo, Crucio, Glacius, Arresto Lomens. Levioso, Dependo, Descendo, Depulso. Off on another adventure, are we? Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Of course. I think he simply wants to show me something. That... Good to hear. Good. Uh, Lodgok is waiting. Of course. I just...
How nice to see you, my young friend. <sighs> Rebellio. Akio. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. Not long ago, they described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build. What do you mean, rep Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin. Ranrock recruited others. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? Why does Ranrock care so much about these... He cares about what... For centuries, wizards have ref... Thus, many goblins, myself included, have... Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep... He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Hickam. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. The door is looking at us. Door is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. 
A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship. Incendium. For... Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Rebellion. Akian. Rebellion. I've read about mines like this. Akio. Something else altogether. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. You should know better than that by now. We've all told you before, and look what happens when you don't listen. Redrock is sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. Wait a moment. Someone's here. Levioso. Fire. Descendo. Also. Get us through here safely, Ahmed. You have my word. Revelio. We're being watched by a door. I like what it's sneaking about. You'll see. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Akio. Bombarda. Revelio. See if we can find any plans. 
bound to be plans around here somewhere. Bring these battles together. I'll take more. Run the other way when they see these humans do. Every time. The track is no talus. Akia, Mars! Defend us, Bombarda. Your Bodega! Revelio. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be no notes around. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. If I'm translating Revelio, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. I didn't touch your tactics Much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever. It is. Incendio. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Should be the last of them, I mean. Revelio. Incendio. Accio. Rebellio. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omid. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. <laughs> Almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. Welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk? Was... It was. It really was. Thank you, Armit. I couldn't have done it. Understood. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. I fear you are correct. Other th I've been wondering about something else. Yes? If you share Ranrock's... I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Ah. 
The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. Oh, I'm ter- Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and- I don't mean to be grim, but- Archie Satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow- Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he never wanders far, but if he- I'm afraid to leave. We'll find your son. Thank you. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer... Hello, sir. She told me about... What do you Mr. sell here? Bickle. Hello. What do you have? What can I help you with today? I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late.
good offer to sing us there about the letter you brought her. Revelio. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Accio. Someone came here looking for him. Defender. Revelio may be our Revelio. only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Revelio. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. <laughs> I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Rebellio. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Rebellio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Thestrals. <sighs> They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. <laughs> it was a long time ago in some ways. Rebellion. Otherwise, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <sighs> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Revelio. 
taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have a Traficus totalis. Be on your gut. There can be no mistakes. Got what they deserved. Revenue. I'd expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Atrophicus uh, Totalis. Atrophicus Totalis. Just warming up. <laughs> You're easier to spot than in a rock. Aha! Back for more. <laughs> Incendium. Oh, no. Window. Oh, no. You know, pay for <laughs> your own. Bombarda. Arrest on the They got what they did. Revelio. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. Thank you. We wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, Archie, you're here. Oh, oh you're safe. Mother, oh, mother. Mom's friends are in danger. Bombarda! What are you talking about them? 
Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Wraith, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. Then you needn't anger him further. I'm sorry again. Thank you. I can never repay... Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Aloha, Mora. Revelio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? House elves and wizards. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't. <clears throat> You'd like me to report back with even more. <laughs> you know me. Miss Ray's is running a time. However, if you're flying high above them... I'm not worried, Miss... I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling, Miss... Do be careful, of course. I shall look... I look forward to our next meeting. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. When you have a moment, then please come and talk to Deke.
Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. 
another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. access to the headmaster's office. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do.
Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the Headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The Headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp, I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Ah. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. If you must speak with me, consult my secretary's or... I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. I'm looking for my house elf. Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I... Pr what? Well, there's one for my diary. Uh, 
I wonder almost daily why I accept... Professor Black. How you call that a shine on those boots? Do better! Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our... And they are fine now. The fact that it... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of us... A silly game! I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now. I... Good day, Professor. Hmm, I wonder why. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scrope's as hard a worker as any. Ahem. At Scrope. Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? Well, certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. 
Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, very well. Toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off. <coughs> the polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Incendio! What are you up to now? Lumos. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Lumos. Revelio. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect? A store. I suspect that... Your suspicions are correct. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. Revelio. That must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs.
I should have run when I could. Best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. I see. The staircase straight ahead. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. <laughs> This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but... I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to. 
turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That door closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. tight. No way but forward, I suppose. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. my chance no, no. that's the way forward can this be I think I'm invisible They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. I've never felt such power. Bombarda!
crescendo. Defender, Bombarder. Bombarda, the bolster, defender. Descender, the pulsar, defender, bombarda. Bombarda, defender. Bombarda. Defender. 
Stone. This must be for me. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. I can't believe she's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Let us always honor. We won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that, as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only 
Kiev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. If the rumors are to be believed, you've taken to increasing the beast. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. I've always said that travel...
nice to see you, my young friend. I adore the hamlets near the coast. Bombarda. Akio. Incendio. Levioso. Descendo. Lupendo. Arresto momentum. Glacius. On another adventure, are we? We're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. You haven't had mushrooms. Akio. Yeah! I won't rest. Dead. Descend. Akio. Incendio. Bombarda. Akio. Intriguing. Bombarda. Revelio. <laughs> <laughs> 